Nice Daytonas, man. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey everyone and welcome back to the Dubai Expat YouTube channel. I hope you're all well and I'm happy to see you all back to another video. So guys, on my recent travels through the United States of America, I found a small secondhand watch store with a big sign saying Rolex. As I have never been in such a typical old fashioned US secondhand watch store, I had to check it out of course. From the sign you can see that this is definitely not an authorized Rolex dealer. As I guess this is not matching the corporate design that the Rolex headquarter would like to see. Inside the store we have several display cases and they are all filled with a lot of watches. The store owner was super friendly and allowed me to film a bit the experience for you. I must admit I am definitely not a fan of watch flippers and somehow it is sad to see how the second hand watch market developed. Tons of Instagram shops that are led by guys who are not into watches at all have zero experience with watches and they just opened a 5 minute store to make a quick buck on flipping Rolex watches. Usual. Everything is so much of the same stuff. Yeah. So it was kind of refreshing to see a second hand family business that exists for a long time, brings a lot of knowledge with them and created a store that is built with passion to the watches. In the displays we find the new Oyster Perpetuals that are trading at this store at around $9,900 for the 36mm green version. The two-tone Datejust are in the price range of around $12,000 to $13,000 and my highlight here was probably the blue dial Datejust with Roman numerals for around $8,900. A beautiful stainless steel Datejust with Wimbledon dial. An Air King for around $9,000 and some old style Milgaus. And some vintage Daytona watches in full stainless steel starting from $26,000 up to $30,000. And three two-tone watches also ranging around $20,000 and the GMT display. And this is again a good example how nice the decoration of the watch store is. Every display has a theme with some old vintage toys matching the watches. As you can see here, they put an old Batman figure next to it and the vintage drink skewer from Pepsi. The vintage Pepsi is around $13,000 Unfortunately, I don't remember the price for the Coke. And the new Batman and Batgirl are around $18,500. The root beer comes at More Submariner 116610LN, so the discontinued model, which is starting at around $13,000. And one of the new Kermits, so the 126610LV. Some vintage Submariners 
And the highlight of the store, a $100,000 Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. Not really for me, but I'm sure there is a huge fan base of this watch out there. I would rather take a vintage Coke. Oh, okay. 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 better? Yeah, that looks cool. Yeah. Um, one of the things Trent had did this um, a couple weeks ago when he was walking here it? about nine, for nine thousand. It's not only. Um, can we do anything? We had told him full price on this one. We hadn't talked about that one. Can we do anything? I can make it. On those, if you guys catch it. Something might be covered. Which stone did we use? I, I think something like you have, but it's not being the whole round like a love bracelet. Um. Okay. Like okay. Party is not take it against that. Okay, I can make one. The famous Rolex paperweight. This was a giveaway long time ago and is trading at an incredible price tag of around $1,000. <laughs> so we close Sunday, Monday? You'll make yeah. calls on Tuesday. You should hear from maybe by Wednesday. Yes. Okay, yes. very good. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Thank you. I'll get back to you this week. I'll put everything under the same thing. Oh, dear. You should ask him about Tudor. If he's interested. And again, my highlight from the store, the $8,900 Datejust Blue Dial. A great piece for a good price. It's it's not a matter of little darker or whatever. It's not bad, eighty nine hundred or. My jewelers don't. How much is the retail of this? What you see is what you get. So I'm gonna I don't to remember. Piece so I can't. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not like I'm gonna tell these guys I want like this but darker. Oh, My jewelers don't do this. It just so happens I know this company does this kind of work. Okay. That's a tough one, man. As a gift, we received the hot sauce from the store owner and happily left after having a great time in this old family owned second hand watch store. And with that, we are at the end of the video guys. Thank you for watching, stay safe and bye bye.